Hi everybody and welcome to a quick episode of um, Elite Dangerous Horizons. We're going to do a quick catch up on how we've got our Python set up. Now by no means is this the best setup that you're going to get for your type of gameplay. We've just got this for uh, mission running okay, and for trading. So let's have a look at the starport services and we'll go to the outfitting screen. So what do we got on hard points? Now on hard points we have three three F lasers and two F2 burst lasers. Now I find currently at the moment um, these better than more cannons. Um, but the way a lot of people play their game is that they do the lasers to take the shields down and then the mortar cannons or frag cannons to take down the um, ship itself so we are actually going to browse the shop here and we want to have a look at the mortar cannons okay and we've got a bit of money so we can have a look at the 2F cannons here and we can see just exactly what we're going to go and get now we've got a maximum range here of 4,000 meters right the fire is up dis distribute draw is up and power draw is up boot time is nothing damage per second is down okay armor piercing is down shot speed is still normal so that gets me to have a look at the pulse laser that we've got here okay which it says damage per second here is 9.5 so I'm kind of wary about changing to uh, multi cannons because they're not quite as good as what I've got on pulse laser so we'll probably test those out on a different ship later on but I think for now we're going to stay with those okay I know it's got more range, a, a thousand meter more range, but I'm, I'm just not too sure. I'm just not sure if it's worth it, um, to, to be honest. <sighs> no, let's change them. Let's let let let's let's do it. Let's change it. Let's be risky. If not, we can always come back and we can change them back to the pulse lasers. I mean, we've only got two F's on the multi cannons, so we do need to go and find somewhere else where we can go and get them um, better. And it is also increasing our uh, jump range as well. I think what we also want to do is we want to change one of these. And I want to have, we can have a look at the missiles. Now we've got Seeker missiles here. I mean that's 500, 512,000 in the air. That's, that's not too bad. Um, so that, that is damage is up, armor piercing up, rate of fire, shield boost rate, ammo clip size is 6. Um, let's have a quick read more about it. How many can we have? Maximum ammo ammo maximum is 18 so that's like th three lots okay um, let's get back on that back on that uh, what else have we got we've got mines shock mine launcher now these are fixed not really too sure about those because um, I don't know how mines work but we do have a fragment cannon here um, 
and it's 2000 maximum range here damage per second that's gimbaled that's a uh, fragment cannon I kind of like the turrets more uh, 2000 compared to 2000 yeah and let's have a look at this one read a little bit more about it ammo clip size is 90 back um, let's try the fragment cannon okay let's try the fragment cannon okay and we'll see that what that one is like because again I only do this in self-defense okay so there we go and what we've got on the utility mounts is we've got chaff launcher okay that's always good for when people get you straight there and there always hit that straight away point defense great for missiles um, coming against you probably you know it saved my skin once or twice and then we've got the shield boosters um, here um, core internals we haven't upgraded this yet because we're not well we have found somewhere where we can upgrade these but we're not too sure whether we should do or shouldn't power plant we've got to 5a 6b thrusters 5A frame shift drive, uh, 4D light support, 7D power. I can't seem to get anything better than uh, that one at the moment. 6D sensors and the fuel capacity is 32. Okay. Uh, optional internals. What we've got is we've got two 64 cargo racks. Okay. Now, if you're doing trading directly from one station to another station, you won't need the whole reinforcement only have the whole reinforcement on there because I find that it gives me that little bit of extra safety okay not much but it gives me that little bit of extra because you've got 2.5% kinetic thermal and explosive resistance on there we've got a 5c fuel scoop um, we could see if we've got a better one I don't think that there is because we don't really um, use it now that's new planetary vehicle base that is very new to us we've not um, had that before that's new to um, what is it uh, horizons okay fuel scoop have we got any yes here we go fuel scoops okay so we've got a 5b that's 49 tons a second I think currently we have 41 a 4a there it's really not worth that one but a 4 a 4b I'm going to go with that because that gives me um, slightly more tonnage and you want to be as quickly as possible and then we've got a 4C biweave shield generator, so I'm going to see if we've got anything better than that. Shield generators. Now, that's a 3C one there. 3B shield generator 3A. So, shield a 3B uh, will give us again the jump range and that is up but the shield strength is well well down and I don't really want to uh, do that so I'm going to stay with the by weave generator there uh, we've got an extra fuel tank here of eight capacities that gives us 40 tons altogether it just gives us that little bit more of an advantage and the advanced discovery scanner I always have this on because uh, you earn money in it every time you jump into the system you will just earn money 
docking computer because I can't dock and obviously the planetary approach suite so the one that we can switch out is going to be this one okay so if we want to switch out land on the planet and stuff like that we would actually switch that one out and uh, that's it so the livery which is the not the paint charge which is this we're trail trailblazer combat is novice and trade is broker I don't know if we've got anything trade broker is that one yeah so that's it that is the ship specs uh, for us at the moment and what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go and start looking at the engineers so we'll see you then have fun stay safe bye for now